just to mention, you know, mm -hmm. a bit on, on, on color blocking, I don't know if, again, I would go and relate this, you know, mm -hmm. with, with mothers out there. Mm -hmm. It is a trend. It's, it's been, it's a trend that is, we would say, current trend, but I think that has been there for quite a while now. Year in, year out, we see things go and, and, and come, but then the color blocking still stays, yeah? Um, uh, I would say again, look at your personality, your character. Don't do it because somebody else is doing it, you know? There's a way you can do a color blocking where you, you have a print already and you just want to pick maybe two out of that that are subtle that will still be able to match. But there's a way that I think some people go color blocking until the whole, even if it's a, like a bridal party, instead of now bringing it out, the whole thing now you, you think, you, you're not sure whether it's a, it's a costumes, they're acting clowns or, or yeah. Really, to, I know that, you know, there's the rule of, you know, we always say that all plain colors go together. Like, for example, if you have a print that has a, a, a black and a white and a red and a blush, you know, if you were to do any other plain color, then you do not pick a color that does not appear in, in, in this, you see. But when it comes to color blocking, all plain colors go together. Hell no, don't, you don't have to pick, again, all plain colors because they go together, that this is called color blocking. Yeah, because when you Google color blocking and when you, a chart would come that has almost all the colors. But I think if, if, if you look again at trends and then again you, you, you go to weddings, yeah. some people have not quite translated it well. I think it's a bit, um, some people are overdue. Uh, the fact that I can be able to see peach and I'm seeing pink and I am seeing all that does not mean that I would take all this and, 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 and put it together. Yeah. You can do three colors. You can do four colors. Make it, you know, colors that you see, the one that accentuates and goes into another. You know. Um, uh, let's say you pick like, like the aquas. You know. Different shades of blues. We've had fabrics like that where you'd see maybe like a yellow or you have a blue and then there would be light and then now bring it out with a totally opposite color. Somebody would see it and think that, oh, there are three, four colors there and it still looks nice. But if you study it, you think you you'd actually see that these are colors that actually, you know, one actually gets and goes into the other and into the other and, and it's actually they marry. I've, I've, I've seen, I can't remember, but I think I've seen a wedding where it was, you know, they were doing color blocking. Eight bridesmaids, yellow, green, red, black, really. Yeah, I think we need to remember, but, I mean, this, this goes out to brides who sometimes have no control of, of the bridal party, of the bridal lineup. You have your friends, you love them so much, this one wants this, this one wants this, and then you tell them, go your way. Hmm? Yeah, and they, they would say, oh, now there's this color blocking. You just go and do your thing. Just remember that by the end of all this, you will have made your, your friends happy. But um, by the time all is said and done and everybody is gone, just remember that you will have photos. What are you going to be looking at, you know, for the better part of your life, for the rest of your life? 